That was awkward. You guys heard that one? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm going to be feeling even better once I get to see my son. I missed his birthday, so I'm excited to get back home. You're going to bring him a good gift? Yeah, whatever he likes. Um, ho hopefully we get 50 Gs, baby. <laughs> How much of that are you going to spend on him? Um, we're going to put some money aside for his future college fund, and yeah, I'll probably give him a little baby Lamborghini car. That's awesome. Um, can you just talk to me a little bit about what you, you're feeling coming into this fight? Um, how, you know, were you feeling positive? Did you feel like this was, there was something different this time around than the last? What, what can you tell me about your mindset? Um, just a lot of praying and uh, just making sure I'm getting those spirits of doubt off me. Uh, praying with my mom, knowing that God reinstated the warrior in me. And he said he's going to bring back the blessings that he promised me because I repented and I surrendered myself to him. And like I told you guys, I wore this mouth guard that says champion because I believe this is the start of my championship run and I'm going to get what God promised me. How confident were you that this was going to be the performance you had? Were you, I know you sound like you were confident you were going to get the win, but what kind of performance did you expect from yourself? Um, I was ready to, like my coach said, just say, when I'm out there, if it went to later rounds, that God, I'm gonna give it my all, you know, because you believed in me. I'm ready to go to three rounds. And I was gonna tell myself if it went to the deeper rounds and I was ready to die out there for this victory. How did you stay positive during the, the losses? Um, because, you know, I got my song, I ain't got no words. I ain't got no words, you see money. <laughs> I saw that uh, extra money on the check and like I said, I ain't got no worries, man. Uh, you might fall sometimes, but the comeback's always going to be better, you know? They tried to dig the grave, and I, God re-arrested my career, and we're back. And I know, you know, obviously you're always going to have people online that say nasty things, but it seemed like you were getting a lot of it the last few, few times. How were you able to recover from that? How were you able to read those things and not feel down? Or were you? Uh, I wasn't down. Uh, like I said, I got a... A lot of guys on my team just putting a smile on my face, uh, that's preaching positivity in my life. Uh, and just knowing um, as long as my family loves me, that's all the acceptance I need. I need acceptance from God, my family, and that's what I had to keep realizing. I don't need the fans to feel good. I need the ones that have been there since day one and that's never going to leave my side. And, and that's what I'm cherishing and that's what helped me push through. And what's next? I know UFC Boston's out since that's next week. How soon do you want to get back in there? Um, well, we might be back in there. September is looking like. Um, but I just want to take time and just enjoy my son because, like I said, I miss his birthday. Um, so maybe the end of September or October, we'd like to get back in there. Was there a conversation backstage about September? Is that why you say that? Yeah. Sean Shelby pulled up. He liked what I did. And yeah, um, they want me to fight that soon. Uh, let's get a new contract and some more money. <laughs> Did they say who? Uh, I can't say, sadly. Can you give me a hint? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, I tried. Thank you. Terrence, What's up, brother? Uh, I saw you just said September and you can't say an opponent, but did they say the card? I mean, there's a couple of good cards on that during that month. Uh, I don't remember what card it was, but uh, like I said, we're going to stay ready so we don't got to get ready. Awesome. And uh, Jamal Hill and Kevin Holland were in attendance today supporting you. What's it like having fighters of that caliber out here supporting you in your fights? Um, it's huge because I really look up to them and they show me how to carry myself uh, outside the cage and inside the cage and how to move around with the staff and treat them with respect like they're my family because you guys work hard for us and I'm going to make sure I always uh, treat you guys right. And uh, I wanted to ask you about your last fight. Um, there were some people kind of stirring up some controversy about maybe a fence grab that led to a sequence where obviously you lost the fight. I want to see what you make of that. Um, I agree. I watched the fight. As soon as you guys saw me, as soon as I got on his leg, I was from up to when he grabbed the fence a little bit lower and then completely onto my butt. So uh, we're looking to appeal that. But like I said, we took this fight because we know we're the better fighter and we wanted to get back and show the world uh, that we belong in the UFC. You know, there's a bit of a storyline going into that last one because you finished one of his teammates. Is that one you want back now, now that it kind of ended with some controversy? Uh, I definitely want that one back, but, you know, God always has a plan, and I just think uh, we're just going to move on to bigger and better things. 
And uh, what message do you think this fight you just did today send out to the rest of the lightweight division? Um, that I come to fight, and I'm always going to look to involve. And shout out to HB, that's the gang. And shout out to my coach, Shook. Shout out to Eric Sands. And shout out to Justin Adams. Our team's supreme, and we'll fight anyone. We all run together. Awesome. Thank you. Terrence, congratulations. And uh, you've grown a lot since you and I last spoke. And I'm impressed and very proud of you. Uh, from what I watched, I'm going to honestly say you're protected. Uh, it was an incredible to see not only your performance, but the energy around you. How do you feel now from what you just accomplished? Um, I feel amazing because I got to see the growth. I got to feel comfortable out there. Uh, I didn't feel panic. Uh, I didn't feel like I just had to keep swinging for his head. Um, and my coach said, keep your eyes open. What do you got to fear? You know, you got God behind you. The whole world can stand against you. When I got God on my side, no one can stop me. I agree with that, and congratulations. Thank you, sir. Did you feel any pressure coming in with two losses? And if you did at, at any, do you feel a lot better that Shelby came up to you right afterwards to kind of immediately try to get you uh, another fight? Did you feel any pressure coming in with a couple losses? Um, for a second, I did. But like I said, um, I'm not walking this battle alone. Uh, and I got, I got some good mentors. They were preaching to me this whole time, getting me hype. And they said, you got too many people behind you to go backwards. So we're just going to keep pushing forward. And your striking looked it, just amazing tonight. Was that something that you really focused on? Or did you just feel different in your hands when you came out there tonight? Like I said, I give that to CD Powertrain's Coach Shug. Um, He's getting my hands right. Uh, he's making sure I'm stepping off the center line. I'm moving my head and keeping my hands up. And we continue to grow together. Um, and we're getting more comfortable and comfortable. And you guys are going to see that as we keep doing more camp together and fights. And last for me, the, the body shots paid a lot of dividends. It looked like you were really trying to work the midsection. What was the game plan for him coming in tonight? Um, first, we're going to work his legs, and then we're going to work his lungs. And, and then they said the face shots were going to open up, and they started to open up. And then we saw him scared to get hit in the face, so we went back to the body and just making sure we are mixing it up. You're pretty active on social media, pretty savvy. As you know, the fans, you know, they, they know everything, and they love to tell you how to do your job. They love to tell me. I saw some rumblings. I'm not lying. I was thumbing through. And um, I seen some fans yesterday saying, oh, Terrence McKinney's overrated. He, he's about to get beat. He's going to get cut from the UFC. What would you like to say to those keyboard warriors now? Um, like my Triple H, though, <sighs> suck it. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Hey, thanks, boss.